Hi, this is Jeff from RX, here to show you how to use the new Create Deck Wizard in FlashFacts. It's a simple three-step process that will help you build a FlashFact deck to your specifications. So first off, you're going to go to FlashFacts in the menu and select Create Deck. Once you've done that, you'll see each of the three steps at the top. So number one is Deck Settings, number two is Choose Cards, and number three is Finalize deck. So we are on the deck settings page where we're going to select cards based on status, ratings, and whether you've marked them. So in card status, you choose whether you want to see all cards or only cards that you have rated or cards you haven't rated. So when we, and, and so what we mean here is uh, when you see a card, uh, this is a card that I have rated. So I've seen this card before. I rated it as nailed it. Um, but there will be some cards in which I haven't rated. So this would be considered an unrated card. This is one I haven't assigned a confidence level to. So that's what we mean. So if I wanted to, I could uh, select rated only. And when I go to the, the, the next step here for card ratings, uh, I could even drill down further. So I could say, I only want to see cards that I have rated as don't know. So maybe these are cards that I know I'm struggling with. Okay. Finally, in mark status, this is going to show uh, cards that uh, I have uh, marked or only cards that I haven't marked. Um, for the purposes of this demo, we're going to keep it, uh, keep it all. Uh, and when we say marked, uh, these are cards, you know, if you have a card that you mark, you do it here in the upper right hand corner of the, of the flash fact. So for this demonstration, I'm going to go back to card status and I'm just going to select uh, all and we'll go to the next step. Once you have your settings settled, you can choose your cards. So the cards are all organized by the first aid tree. So it makes sense to choose the cards based on the topics you're studying. Now you could choose pathology for instance, but that would be a pretty hefty deck. That would be 502 cards in all. So what I'm going to do is I can click on pathology and you'll see that I have expanded uh, the, the deck even further. So here I have chosen cellular in injury and now I can see all of the the, the cards uh, that are associated with that so I can I can drill down even further and say um, I only I don't want any on cellular adaptations and nothing on cell injury so you can see how precise uh, you can get when you are creating your deck so now that I have chosen some pathology cards uh, at the bottom, I go to the next step. And this is where I finalize the deck. I can give it a name. Now, the, the deck name is optional. If you don't want to give it a name, uh, the, the system will automatically generate a name for you. And I can also uh, select how many cards I want in this deck. So I have, uh, out of the topics that I've chosen, there are 96 cards available to me. If I really only wanted to put 50 in that deck, uh, it will, um, uh, the system will automatically uh, pull 50 cards uh, from that selection. And from here, I can create my deck. Now remember, uh, we have a maximum number of cards that you can add to a deck and that's 500. So I am well under that and I can now create my deck. And once I have created it, uh, I am launched into the new deck. Well, I hope this helps you understand how to build a flashback deck. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching.